Hello, fellow Movie Crusaders, and welcome to another episode of Sean's Movie Crusades. My name is Sean Wassacruz, and today we're going to be reviewing the Netflix original film, Love Guaranteed. Uh, now, for me, with romantic comedies, kind of a dying art. Uh, there's not a whole lot of romantic comedies anymore. You have either, you have your teenage rom-com, not, like, not even rom-coms, like a lot of the teenage movies now are just kind of sad. Um, but with romantic comedies, there's been kind of like these little diamonds in the rough over the last few years. With Netflix um, having at least two of them be theirs with uh, Set It Up. So I loved Set It Up. I thought that was one of my favorite films of uh, 2018, 2019 when it came out. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite Netflix films. And it's one that I've gone back and rewatched quite a bit. It just was a feel-good romantic comedy for me. Um, it was 2018. Because last year, 2019, had Always Be My Maybe. That was another one. I really liked Always Be My Maybe. Um, I like the cast, I like the chemistry, I love the rap, and of course, Keanu. Um, but yeah, Netflix tends to put out pretty good Netflix romp comedies. Um, and uh, with this one, the big sell for me, because I'm sorry, this one is not something that I would really be into, uh, like in terms of the plot, but the big thing that sold me on it was the two main leads. Rachel Lee Cook, I've loved Rachel Lee Cook ever since I saw her for the first time and She's All That. I've had like little, literally a celebrity crush on her for the longest time. And I have not seen her since I think psych the TV show. Um, so seeing her back in front of a film, um, I, I had to see what, how she did. And of course the other lead Damon Wayans jr. I love Damon Wayans jr. Anyone who has seen the TV show, happy endings, fantastic show. I wish it should have gone longer than it did. It should have never been canceled. Uh, he was on the failed TV series, happy together. He was on new girl, uh, he's been in certain movies like The Other Guys, Let's Be Cops. Damon Wayne Jr. is a fantastic actor who really needs to get out there more and, and be seen. And I hope that even though this is a Netflix film, these two kind of get elevated up a little bit more for their performances. Because these two are very charming characters. They're very charming and charismatic with each other. Uh, and that's what sold me on this. The trailer itself, it wasn't necessarily the plot that made me want to watch this. It was just watching these two on film together. And that was the big selling point for me. Uh, the main plot uh, for, for uh, Love Guaranteed is uh, to save her small law firm, Ernest Lawyer Susan takes a high-paying case from Nick, a charming new client who wants to sue a dating website that guarantees love, but as the case heats up, so do Susan and Nick's feelings for each other. It sounds like a Lifetime channel or a Hallmark film. It basically is, but it's on Netflix. Uh, and that's basically the one, the big negative towards Love Guaranteed. I loved Rachel Lee Cook. I love Damon Wayne Jr. in these film in, in this film. They both work really well together chemistry. They have a lot of fun together. Everything meshes perfectly with these two. Um, I wanted to watch these two just hang out with each other all day. It's everyone around them that kind of makes it feel very Hallmark channel or very lifetime movie channel. Uh, it's very by the numbers. Um, everything in here, you've seen it a thousand times before. It does not do anything new, except that it brings internet dating into the mix. Uh, Nick's character, he kind of plays it off kind of brash at first, but then he, that, like kind of like an onion has layers, thanks to Shrek. Um, when you first see it, it's just like, oh, this guy goes on almost a thousand dates. He's probably a jerk. You probably don't like him. But as you peel back the onion, you learn more and more about Nick and that he's actually a really great guy. And then with uh, Susan, she's one of those typical lawyer movie things. She's so focused on being a lawyer that she doesn't see love right in front of her. But nonetheless, uh, Rachel Lee Cook and Damon Wayans Jr. I think do a fantastic job in this film. I mean, they're not trying to you know make win Oscars in this, but for for what the film is asking them to do, they both do it great. Um, rest of the cast, you got Heather Graham. She plays Tamara Taylor. She plays the person who runs the dating company. I mean, they kind of have her playing a, this kind of like one one hit joke with with her kind of being like this this new age like namaste Buddhist kind of character. It didn't really work for me, but she's not the focus of this film, so it's kind of like take her for what she is and let's move on. Um, then you got uh, Caitlin Howden as Melanie, Brendan Taylor as Gideon, um, Sean uh, uh, a miss I'm a sing as Roberto, um, all these guys. And then you got Lisa uh, Durup as Denise. Those are kind of the main characters throughout, um, playing kind of like the sister or the, bro or the brother, the sister-in-law, and then the law firm people. They're all okay. They have some little bit quick lines here and there that kind of you know give a little snicker here and there. But this movie really belongs to Rachel Lee Cook and Damon Wayans Jr. 
Um, there are some really corny parts in the film. I will even say that. There's certain scenes like, I, I don't want to say this because it's technically a spoiler, but there's one scene with a, at the very end um, of the film, the very end of the film with a reporter who really is just ruining an end scene. And if you guys can point him out, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Because the whole time I'm supposed to be watching this end moment, I am stuck focusing on this this douchebag <laughs> over right over uh, Rachel Lee Cook's head, um, who's really just being so over the top cheesy and stupid. And you kind of that's the one thing is it's just like it's still this movie as great as the two leads are. It still feels very hallmarky, very Lifetime Channel. Um, and because of that, it doesn't ever reach the levels of an Always Be My Maybe or a uh, Set It Up. It's 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 a solid watch it once, maybe watch it again if you really want to see these these two leads uh, together. But it's definitely not something you would watch over and over and over again. It's not. There's nothing great, laugh out, funny about it. It's just charming with these two lead characters. So going to my overall thoughts, if you guys like romantic comedies, if you guys like Netflix romantic comedies, or if you are a fan of Rachel Lee Cook and Damon Wayne Jr., uh, definitely recommend checking this out at least once. I think for the most part, if you're a fan of these two, you're going to really enjoy the performances. You might not really care for anything else, or you could just straight up love this movie. Um, for the, you know, real movie people, and I'm not trying to say that as, as a derogatory thing, but like people who are looking for like these amazing, well-written films and stuff like that. No, Love Guarantee is not going to be for you. This is the very bare bones rom-com with two great leads and that's all it is. So going to my overall score, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because I loved the two leads. Um, the story around the two leads, not so much there. Very hallmarky. I know I said that like six times already, but I really just want to hit that on the nose. It's basically a Hallmark Channel version played on Netflix with two great leads. And that's basically the review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys feel like this review is worth sharing, go ahead and hit that share button. But most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to the channel so you guys stay up to date. With all the latest videos that pop up in Sean's Week Crusades. And of course, don't forget to follow us on all the social media outlets you see below. Coming up next, we have another Netflix original film. Uh, I'm thinking of ending things. So be on the lookout for that. And until next time, in case I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, movie crusaders.